What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Sly. And I'm Cardia Dadon. And we want to encourage you guys to listen to The Melting Pot. Where we will release new episodes every Sunday discussing today's most hottest and controversial topics. Stirring up all things popular culture. And you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Brought to you by The, the Melting Pot. Pot. to another installment here at the Melter Pot. It's your host, Sly. And I'm Cardia the Dawn. So, I think when it comes down to it, if the person clingy, like, you, your energy have to match. Like, if you're a clingy person, you need someone to be equally or as close to clingy as you are. Because, like, you can't have somebody clingy like that because I've been in that situation. You can't have somebody who's clingy like that and you're a person who values your space. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need people around all the time. You you know, we just was talking um, last week about, you know, having your own place, you know, being in your own space and getting to be free and do what you do, right? Like, and you know, when you're dating somebody or in the talking stage with somebody, like, yeah, that's the get to know you stage. But one of the things you need to be aware of or, you know, that you learn pretty quick <laughs> in those first couple weeks to, you know, getting into it with somebody, like, you gonna know if they clean or not. But like you said, but you also gotta, like, you're an adult, like, you, like you said, you work crazy hours, and even when you get home from your day job, you still got side hustle jobs. You still got hobbies outside of work. You know, so it's just like, yeah, when someone clink like that, like, it's definitely red flaggish from somebody, like, on our personalities. Because, like, you need to have certain times where, you know, y'all talking. And then, you know, as you grow close, then, you know, if you feel like you can continue to be with this person or explore or whatever, what y'all got going on, then that's cool. But now, are you wrong for cutting them off? Absolutely not. Because... Sound like she was tripping, and in my past situation, he definitely was tripping. So, like, it's just, yeah. I just think that you should try and best find somebody that match your energy when it comes to things like that. Clingy and clingy. So, like, now, now, clingy and clingy can go together, but two people who need, who value their space, because, like, then it's gonna be a problem that y'all don't communicate enough. You might think that. One person is more interested than the other, or y'all both not really feeling it, you know, so you might be better off as friends. Like that, that that's trouble too. It's kind of kind of been in that situation too. So you just gotta find that balance. And you gonna know within those first couple um couple weeks to, you know, couple months. Well shoot, we can't make it a couple of days. Cause my thing is like I feel like if you clinky when we're together and we're really, 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 really together. That's fine. I like that. But I'm trying to get to know you and I can't even go through my work day because you're doing too... It makes you come off as a nut job. You, you're a nut job. I I agree. Because just like you trying to get a feel for each other. So like... But you know, you, when you made a good point, when y'all really together, like together... Yeah, you know, bring it on. You know, show that affection. You know, make me, you know, feel safe, comfortable. Like, you still want me. You know, we still, like, we vibing. Like, we cool. You know what I'm saying? Because if they don't, if y'all together and it ain't happening like that, then that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. But as far as talking stages and getting to know and all that, then, I don't know. You, you don't want to come on strong too early, too strong and too early. Especially 
Listen to us. Relax. Relax. Calm down. Maybe you need to pick up another job or a side hustle or a hobby or something because you got too much time on your hands to call me like this. Worrying. Worrying. And we not even together like that. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. You do too much too soon. How quick are you to block somebody? I'm pretty, um, I'm, the, I'm that person you read about, you know, Twitter and stuff, like, any, any type of weirdness or red flag that I see, I'm, I'm, I'm gone, like, I'm, I'm done, but I can say, like, with over the past, like, year, I guess, cause, you know, I do want to try, you know, find somebody, somebody, you know. I've kind of like relaxed a little bit more, but not too, not, not too relaxed because it depends on what it is. But yeah, any type of old sly, yeah, I used to block, 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 yeah, walk up on left and right, anytime you breathe wrong, uh, <laughs> we fine, uh, like, I mean, there's a lot of weirdos out here, like, we just like, weird, like, and then people just don't come quick. Like, cause I've always known, I've always been as a person. I know what I want. And, <laughs> you know, I'm just out here. You know, so I go through ups and downs. I'm out here looking for, and then there's periods of my life where I'm not looking for, and, you know, people come my way, and it's just like, eh, do I choose to do somebody or I choose to just let it go? And, you know, sometimes I choose to do something, you know, to, see explore and then it still turned out like garbage and it's black <laughs> again so yeah don't you hate when the the mf who you was supposed to block in the beginning and you didn't and he's like i should have blocked you in the beginning because they end up proving you right like yep but like <laughs> thought, it, thought you had potential thought you had potential and don't you hate when you block somebody and they still find you Nah, see, I ain't came across no no stalker. Well, yeah, one of them found me on Facebook, which I mean, don't send me no friend request on Facebook. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm past the, we're past the Facebook era. Like, no new friends on Facebook. Like, I don't even care if I know you, I see you every day. Like, oh, like, I mean, because you got my Instagram, you got my Snapchat. If you're really lucky and you're cool, you got my number. So why you need why you need me on Facebook? I'm not even on there for like, you know what I'm saying? Because if y'all if, and then we done got it to it, I done blocked you on my number, Snapchat, Instagram, and you come and find me on Facebook. Oh, you desperate, desperate. Oh no, you really crazy, crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. We glad I dodged the bullets. Cause I know you was crazy. Man, I had a friend, <clears throat> and but this is my fault too. Went through my Twitter page and DM'd Coco to get to me, and I'm like, "Are you for?" I'm like, "BFFR." You really think Coco wasn't gonna show me the screenshot? Man, come on now. She wasn't gonna tell you. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's another another level of crazy. Yeah, they done unlocked a new level. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what a what a special guest of you fucking tried it <laughs> like like a big dog. Yeah, went to Coco like Coco was not gonna tell me. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't encounter. Kind of, uh, well, that ain't on me. That, that, that's on him. <laughs> like, I, didn't, I didn't encounter. I put in a word, but I mean, it's kind of. It kind of had a. That's not really how it works. But so you still not gonna tell me your um, your wedding songs? Who huh? knows? You can hate my future husband. Like y'all can Loki just finds each other. As long as I get the, the first invite, because that does matter to me. I should be first to know. Because I'm first violin, you know? I'm first chair. Probably. Are you saying Coldplay because you think it's going to be white? Like, where, I mean... That was dry. That was dry. 
And I hope I'm a I hope I'm a best a groomsman. Oh definitely. I think it should definitely lean more towards men. Mm. You're right, but you could um, you know all I ask, give me some you know, give me some leverage. I don't know. Hopefully the marriage is far away but well, the relationship could come any day now. <laughs> like, you know, but the marriage uh, hold on all that. I don't even know if I no, we already had previous episodes of marriage. I don't even I mean, know if I wanna go that route. Like, how long do you want your dating period to be and your engagement period to be? Dating, you know, about two years. Um, engagement. So after about two years, you know, I'll be open to you know you popping the question or whatever. I say yeah in the scenario, and you know we you know, engage and stuff and it's like now the engagement shouldn't take that dang long. I hate when people have like seven year engagement. What what you waiting on seven years? Like I know you may need a year to get a ring and you know get your money right and you know you know, prepare for what's about to happen, but like like seven years, five years, I like, know, like so I'ma say a year. Yeah. I'ma say a year of being engaged. And then hop right in, hop right into the hop right at that altar. Yeah. And the same for the honeymoon. Like I wanna have the honeymoon, you know, right right after the wedding. They had to get the honeymoon if we're willing, you know. I wanna have it right after. You know, some folks they don't have a honeymoon. Same, same thing. Might have to wait six months, wait, wait, wait a year, you know. You know, and and we're talking about my ideal perfect world. So yeah, I'm gonna go two for dating, one for engage, and uh, immediately after the wedding or the honeymoon. Dating two years, engagement two to three, honeymoon right after. I mean, I think your engagement a little long, but hey, that's your preference, not mine. But you know, more past at this point, I feel like you know. Okay, that three, that three really, really made me cringe. Good. I, Two, okay, I could, I could get around to it. it. Might take me a minute. Might have to pick up a cane, a little walker. But I, could, I could get there for three. Because uh, uh, uh. now we, um, we get to know each other. Probably then moved in at this point. At this point, we didn't move. Oh, well, hope oh, you're about to be married. At this point, we moved in, so now you got to really like learn somebody. Get to know they likes, they dislikes, and so you know that's gonna this little engagement period gonna tell if we really gonna make it or not. Cause I don't understand people who move in after they didn't got married. That don't work. Um, I don't care about that shacking up so. shit. Cause a lot of people back in the day had kids. And they weren't married, they were shacking up. So I don't want to hear the next 2022. Different topic. I'm I'm cool with the Bible. But it's just some things. I'm just not. It's just something I just can't get jiggy with. You know? The sh- term shacking up, which is basically living with somebody and you're not married. But like I said, you don't really get to know somebody to you have lived with them and I'm not finna marry you then move in with you and you prefer your toothbrush holder on the right side of the sink instead of the left side of the sink you want your toilet paper to go over and not under and then it's just like every day now we we going at it you know it's just like it's, it's little things you got to know about a person before you can move in because them little bitty things do add up over time you prefer crest over Colgate. You know, that kind of stuff matters. Now, are they all important? No. I mean, it's something they that's, matter. you know, good to know. You know, like you said, you know, not everyone is important. Like, Crest, Colgate, uh, Sensodyne, goddamn, Arm and Hammer. I, it don't matter. Like, as long as you're using some, please. Like, Ooh. Ooh, they're all the hair was so nasty. I know, right? It's so chalky and like just it tastes like paste in your mouth. Like it's it weird. It's weird. I, I, 
Mm-mm. I can't do arm and hammer. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't do do it. <laughs> definitely not gonna let somebody hear the end of that. Cause what? Like, ooh, it's, it's just it tastes like paste, like like Elma's paste. Like I'm bringing out all the O's. Elma's paste with chalk. Yeah, bitch. chalk. Like it just like I don't like in the laboratory. Y'all didn't taste test this part. Like it just like. Oof. Well, so chefs, it's hard out here in this in the dating pool, but that's all I'm saying. Do your research before you uh place your bets. Do your research before you place these bets, cause if I put all my money, I'm going all in on this one person. I'm putting my bet on this person, all that one. He gonna be the one. She gonna be the one. You know, like, mm, that's what I'm saying. I, I like bet. Do your research before you put too much dip on the chip. Okay, you chose dip on the chip. Hey, you know, it's oldie but goodie, oldie but goodie. And one day we have to tell the shoe sales uh, our um, Mexican mm. restaurant story. Woo, Woo yeah, because Cardi almost got our food spat in. Like, because okay. <laughs> he could handle a little extra fur. <laughs> Like, like, okay, not actually. It was a whole barracuda on the upper lip. Season, like, I looked over. Like, <laughs> turned around, but the, trying to put a chip in your mouth. Like, stop. Yo, I forgot what I wanted to right, drink. He didn't even know what he wanted to drink. I'm like, oh my gosh. The passion fruit. The pa- Oh, yeah, the passion. Good. That shit, that shit was funny as fuck. That shit should have been that funny. Like, <laughs> all right, that whole, yeah, that whole, that whole experience was. They did not charge me for that coke I had. So hey, yeah, they didn't. They probably put a little extra, extra in it anyway. Anyway, as always, stint, as always, stay ten told. Stay sharp and good luck out here, Susios. Wish we had the answers, but we, we trying to figure it out just like the rest of y'all. Just like the rest of y'all. But when we do, yeah. you will hear about it right here on the Melted Pot. I'm Cardi the Dawn. I'm Sly. And this has been the Dating Connection. Or the Melting Pot. Whichever one. I'll be okay. Tend to all that. Christian Mingle. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms and listen to our wonderful podcast on whatever you stream your pla- on whatever you stream your podcast on. You can follow us on Instagram at T A P E Real Melting Pot, on Twitter at the Melting Pot sixteen, on Facebook and YouTube at the Melting Pot Podcast. Mm-hmm.